Hello, and welcome to Reserve Inspirations, Fabies Recovery Service, LLC. My name is Aaron, your Galaxy Master, and I am joined by my lovely friends and players. Sarah playing Ursula, Panic playing Mfret, and Jell playing Iris. Welcome, welcome all. Um, I want to just jump right in with a little quick recap. Last time, uh, the party was able to find the device that they were looking for. They were able to uh, rescue the uh, scientist that they were in search of. And they were grabbing some potions when they heard loud screeching noises and a massive disgusting creature came out of nowhere and began to start chasing them. And that's pretty much where we're going to be starting today with a chase scene. I'm really quickly going to explain how this is going to work. Um, essentially, uh, we're going to do this in rounds, and instead of initiative being done, the party will be able to go first before the creature does anything. And they, one person will roll a d12, and there's different options that could pop. Oh, sorry, d20, and there's different options that could pop up for obstacles or things that help them. Um, but the more they fail, the closer the monster gets. Uh, and if they fail, I'm not going to say how many times we'll see, we'll see what happens, but, uh, if they fail too many times, uh, it may attack and they may have to fight, which I'm hoping is not the case, but we will <laughs> find well, out. It does sound like a possibility for this group. So. <laughs> yes. So essentially on each turn, we'll get an obstacle. Some of them are specific, like, are right, you need to roll this specific check? Um, and then some of them you will decide you'll have free will to kind of decide what you can do, what you're good at, what you can do to help your party get through this particular obstacle so start looking at your stats figuring out what you're what you're good at um and yeah i think we're going to uh let's, let's jump right in so why don't we start with uh iris iris why don't you roll me a d20 <clears throat> Seventeen. Seventeen. okay 17 Oh, this is good for you. This Yay. is good for you. So as uh, you all begin to run, you start running through, I do want to ask you all, uh, which of the two hallways you'd like to head toward uh, up to the north? Uh, Ursula, which one? <laughs> I mean, they're both going to go the same way. I would assume the closest one to us so we don't lose distance. I mean, right. yeah, we don't, you know, have to backtrack too much. And I don't think that's a full on zigzag to like throw that monster off to go down the right hall. So I think <laughs> we might as well just continue on straight. Straight forward. So you're yeah. heading to this section of the hall. Um, I will say this, you had zero obstacle whatsoever in this situation. What yes. happens, what happens is the monster, as it's reaching the point that you left from that stupid scientist who didn't want to leave walks around the corner and you just see from behind you see its tail just that with the, the scorpion like stinger just swipe out stab into this person yeah. and it begins to eat and crunch and as it does it begins to enlarge uh, i mean that's what they get for not coming with us but damn that does not help okay Ooh. so that was your first round that's not bad you, that was a successful round for you because the monster did not gain any headway uh this time ursula and you got to picture it this way you're running down these hallways and you have like what 15 scientists in front of you and you're trying to push them all ahead like go 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 this creature's right behind us <laughs> and, yeah so that's, that's essentially what's going on um i need uh m fret can you please make a d20 roll for me Oh, I sure can, bud. All right. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Here we go. <laughs> Five. 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 Okay. <laughs> so oh. <laughs> I don't as you're know. running. We don't like when you laugh. We don't like when you laugh. Remember, I'm the youngest. You all have to love me, no matter what, <laughs> unconditionally. <laughs> Uh, as you get to this new hallway and you begin to start running and you're pushing these scientists along and you're looking to Ursula to, to come up with the correct way for you all to go. You're like, which way do we go? Which way do we go? Ursula, you have a mind blank. You cannot remember which way to go. 
I need everyone to make intelligence checks or history checks if, if you have that. Uh, or if you have something that might be better, if you have a skill that might be better than intelligence or history, let no, me know. I got history all up on this. Okay. What you got on the history? Well, I have a plus seven. So hopefully you don't roll a one. Yeah. Oh, oh no, I rolled a 19. <laughs> 19, so it's a 26. Yeah. Let's see what your uh, allies get. Because I had to, this is a so for this particular one. We're all um, doing it. Oh no. The total DC is 31 with all three of yours combined. So between the two of them, they have to get five in order for you to succeed. I got 16. Okay. Okay. And we're done. <laughs> and, and and a 19. And a 19. Okay. Uh, and also because you were uh, five points above the total DC that I set, uh, you also get an inspiration for the group. So if at any point someone rolls really poorly and you want to use that, you can. So you have one of those. Hold on to it because it could get hairy up in here. Uh, real quickly, though, I will say as soon as you get to the next uh, junction, Ursula, you're like, oh, it's absolutely this way. And I will say, when you say this way, which way would you like to go? Because it's your decision. Oh, crap. Hold on. I got to move the map now. I had it all zoomed in. Uh, it's really six of one, half a dozen of the other. Ugh. <laughs> No, it really is. But the path of least resistance is to just go up, stay to the left, and keep going. Okay. Good so answer. even though it's even though it's just pretty much turning a corner, it's still another section. So mm -hmm. uh, Ursula, can you roll a d twenty for me for this next section? Oh, I feel like the monster has has like, not gained on you. Oh, I feel like I already used my good juju though. <laughs> Five. Four. Four. Okay. So as you're running, Laugh, so <laughs> you get to the section of the hallway and you're like, ah, we, we got to go to the left. This is definitely the way we got to go. You all start to pour out into the hallway, but then the lights start to flicker and just go out. You guys are all fine, but all the scientists in front of you are now slamming into each other, hitting into the walls. What are you guys going to do to try to help this situation? All right, somebody needs to, I need to, in my opinion, I would need to think fast and tell somebody to get in the front and start telling them to follow their voice. Um, I know. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh. Which ones have dark, does Bork have dark vision? Uh, yes, he does, but the rest of the scientists don't. So the, okay. essentially. Actually, that's that's your obstacle is it's dark you guys can kind of see in black and white and you can definitely still see the like creature oh. coming through the the hallways but they are uh, just bumping into each other stumbling over their own feet in the dark uh, i cast okay. minor illusion for a um yeah like a drum beat or something okay uh, that they can follow that i just Ooh. project in front okay give me an right, we can also... oh gosh okay ursula Iris, right. what are you two doing? Uh, I would say Ursula would just start yelling out directions. Left, left. <laughs> Iris, is gonna, Iris is gonna kind of grab the closest people to her and kind of push them forward, like go that way. Okay, okay. So uh, would you say that you're being more persuasive or more intimidating, trying to, trying to move them around? I would go with intimidation. Like, you better go there or I'm going to throw you behind me in sure. a situation. Give me an investigation. I mean, uh, intimidation. Sorry. Yeah, intimidation check. That okay. is a What'd you get? 19, Arcana. 19. Okay. Ursula, uh, what are you doing? I'm still just trying to get, like, like tell them which way to go. Like, in okay, general. like, keep moving straight and whatever. All right, yeah. uh, give, me, up, give me a persuasion check. Give me a persuasion check. For intimidation, I got 21. 21, okay. <laughs> just she's short, but she's scared them into running. Yeah, scare them into running, man. She's short, scare but she's scary. Well. She got all that all that muscle on her arms, you know? <laughs> Ursula, how you doing? Uh, I got a 16. A 16, okay. Um, oh, with actually, all. just with the first two, uh, you had enough to succeed. 
uh, between Iris yelling and screaming at these people, like, move straight. And then and <laughs> Brett starts getting a beat going. So they start getting on chorus. And Ursula, every once in a while, is like kind of shifting someone, up, like, hey, move to the left, move to the right. And you successfully maneuver through this situation. You come to the next hallway where the lights are on. Um, and yeah, so I need, uh, we're, I think we're back to the top again. We got Iris, was it doing it this time? Iris rolling? So I got a six. A six? Wow, you guys are real, real, real low. All right. Yeah. What happened to that first I roll I had? Out Jesus. I was going to say, we're getting them all, all the rolls out of the way now so we can just die in five minutes. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, so what ends up happening is you turn this corner after the lights come back on and there are two troopers standing in your way. What would you like to do to get by these troopers, to destroy them, to whatever? But you can go back the other way. It's up to you. What would you like to do? I am going to at least attack the closest one to me with my sizzling slasher. It's still activated. I never deactivated it. Okay. Uh, make an attack roll for your skill check. Mfret, Ursula, what are you two doing? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> so there's like, like what, 10 of us less? And there's only two of them? Yeah. But you can't really use the scientists to your advantage. Okay, but we don't you really you have can't put them in harm's way, essentially. But I know that we don't really have time to fight these idiots. Right, no. So I'm not trying to make you fight them. Essentially, mm -hmm. what I'm doing is if you want to try to attack, that is your skill that you're doing for this round. And if the, oh, okay. the number is high enough, the DC is high enough, then you will succeed and get by them. <laughs> um, I so guess. Oh, go on. Sorry. I was going to say attack to hit. I got 10. Attack to hit, you got 10, okay. And what about you two ladies, or Emfra and uh, Ursula, what are you two doing to? I just wanna keep pushing them and say, don't be foolish, keep going. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, yeah, give me another persuasion check. It's gonna be uh, a slightly higher DC each time you try to do the same thing. I'm also gonna yell at them like, yo, it's coming. We gotta go. <laughs> it don't care who you are. It's gonna get you. Okay. Because you're both doing this and you're not really helping to do anything with the soldiers, the troopers, uh, the DC is going to be much higher. So uh, go for it. Make your rolls. Wait, what do you mean? We're trying to get the troopers to keep going with us. Like if, they oh, see, oh. if I see, if I see like a go. crowd of people running towards me and I hear like some hellish shit going on behind them, I'm probably not going to be like, I yeah, like they're going to be like, we we gotta poop the, you got to go. <laughs> My yeah. mistake. I understand what you're trying oh, okay. to say now. Okay. <laughs> um, so you're going to both try to persuade, go for you yeah, to make two persuasion checks. Yeah. 17. I got a 16 again. Even though you said it would go up. That is enough, not enough to get you um, in another inspiration, but that's another success. You have two inspirations, by the way, that can be used. <laughs> Oh, for the group okay. uh you are successful they decide that they will after one of them gets its head chopped off by iris and it can hear <laughs> the screeches and and, and whatnot for, coming from behind the other guy's like oh yeah no i'm coming i'm coming with you uh and they will follow along so you move into the next section successfully um and with that being said uh, i need mfret to roll a d20 okay 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 Oh, do it. Oh, it's a two. A two? <laughs> oh, no. Why are oh, we yeah. doing so bad? Because we got all the good rolls out already. I know. So the creature comes around the corner. <gasps> no, no. And it begins to, as you're now rounding the corner as well, right before you're able to take that turn, it fires out this like spew of acid. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think there's something I can, I have a reaction. Ah, okay. ah, 
Ah! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Uh, it's a bonus action. Okay. Well, tell me what it is. What okay. Are you doing? Um. Oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Never. Wait, wait. Is it? No, I want the other one. Um, unsettling. Uh. Oh no, that's a saving throw. Never mind. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Uh, well, anyway, okay, this go on. Sorry. stream of acid uh, <laughs> comes shooting forth. I need everyone to make a dexterity saving throw first. Saving throw, not check. And I can't cast something right now. Uh, no. Doesn't well, if it's a reaction, then yes. But if no. it's not a reaction, then no. Balls. Okay. What kind of? Sorry. What was it? Um, Dex. dexterity saving throw from everyone. Okay, so I rolled twenty-one to save. Okay. Uh, and Fred. Twenty-three to save. Ursula. Eighteen. Eighteen. You all succeed. You're only going to take half the acid damage. Ugh. Oh wow, that is a high roll. Oh no. dear. Oh no. Uh, I rolled 5d6 and I ended up getting 26 points. Uh but that's halved to 13 points each. Okay. And okay. if you have the acid, if you already drank your acid resistance potion, it's reduced again to seven. That was like hours. Wait, six, six. That a while ago. It's still the same day. It lasts for I think eight hours or something. Oh, oh, so we, oh. Oh, we all took those, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we all took hour, it, but even still, I don't think we did it right after. We did it right after facing the big. Okay, big so then, yeah, you'd all have resistance. Okay, so cool. you all take six points of acid damage, but there is currently your now obstacle is there is a massive hole melted in the floor in front of you, and you have to kind of try to either leap or you got to get over this somehow. What would you like to try to do to do this? Oh, if you could... I'm gonna reach into my potions. That's it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Something for this. Reach into your thing. What are you, what are you pulling? Rear roll a d8. Use my for those of you who don't remember last episode ursula just took like yeah perfect <laughs> she just grabbed uh just <coughs> all of, of the potions that were in a cabinet into a bag so she's got a bunch of random ones please tell me you got the worst one not the worst the just second worst the most random most random oh dear okay Eight. yeah oh dear okay yeah so so you reach your hand in there, start jiggling around, and you pull out uh, this light purple viscous liquid that has like these silver sparkles throughout. Um, do you want to do anything with it? Because this is kind of your turn. Mm. Okay, how big is that hole? Uh, it's like a 10 foot. You got So essentially how that works is if you're, the, the, the distance that you can jump normally is your strength score. You can attempt to jump further with an athletics check. So Iris, you automatically succeed. I would give you, <laughs> I would give you the 10 that you need to get over because you have that. So what is your total strength? Because that is going to be your con contribution to this. Wait, me, Ursula? No, you, I believe it's Ursula and Emfred. Neither of you have a 10 or higher for your strength. So you have to attempt to get over some other way. Iris automatically, oh. whatever her strength score is, is her number uh, toward your, your success. I, can I, I, oh, go on. Can I throw them? Uh, yes. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> is, it's just a hole in the floor. Is there still walls? Yes, but it, it goes all the way to all the edges. That It's just like a... Fi how Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. How the, the walls are there, but the, the floor is there? completely gone. Is I'm, there like a little pathway between where the hole in the wall is that they can kind of try to shimmy across or no? No, 
yeah yeah well let's let's see let's roll let's roll to see if there is a how far the acid ate away yeah this is a little bit of an edge you got maybe like a half a foot of an edge there i am super acrobatic is there are there any like hanging like lights or something Oh, I, or I can like, can I matrix, can I matrix run like across this the roll to unfortunately in this area of the hallway, there isn't really anything that you can see to grab onto. Okay. Like, so this. what if we kind of gymnast it where they run towards me and I kind of do that arm catch thing and like give them a boost. All right. So what are we doing? We're doing a, a because you, we know that you can automatically get over Iris. Yeah. So, so you, help the siblings you over. make a, uh, what, like athletics check. Me or Emperor? Yeah, you. And if it's good, then you'll give both of them advantage on their acrobatics. But if it's bad, then they uh, just get a regular roll. I rolled an 11. Okay. Uh, Ursula, what did you... Uh... I'm going to take the potion and turn into an owl. Okay. So you don't need... You you automatically succeed. Give one <laughs> success to the thing, to this. And then... Um, I'm M going you get to make an acrobatics roll straight up. Yep. I'm going labyrinth on this. 16! 16. So what everyone needs is at least that. So that's what she gives. You said 16. You. Oh, between the three of you, you all Gr just by Gr one Gr point. <laughs> just barely succeeded uh, in getting oh, okay. over this this area. Oh, God so you it. leap over this thing and as you do you kind of turn the corner, some of you skidding and slamming into the wall and like correcting yourselves and begin to move into the next section as the creature continues to move forward toward you. Um, that's going to bring us now to the next round of uh, rolls. What is this? Ursula now this time, right? Oh, but make it fall in the hole. Oh no, it, it's much <laughs> better than that. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Let's, here we go. 17. 17. Okay. Let's see. 17. Ah. So as you begin to run, is it going to move the whole thing or no? That's just going to move. Or higher. fly, as it were. Yes. Oh. I don't know why that just moved just Ooh. Iris and now she's in the center of the group, but it doesn't matter. Um, at this point, the creature rounds the corner uh, and it's, it looks like it's starting to gain on you. And then this door that I'm pinging right now opens and a, a, just a random scientist walks out, turns and is like, <gasps> is that the claws just into its shoulders and just tear it in half and just <laughs> start eating and uh, it gets bigger. Yeah. Do, do we have any bombs? Like, should we start throwing bombs? <laughs> and it's chasing after. We do after. have bombs. Yeah, we should probably like leave little presents. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, can we? What? Well, I think I still have like five of them. Run and drop. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So now at this point, <clears throat> um, well, actually, we just had, uh, yeah, that just happened for this green section. Oh, I can't drop crap. I'm an owl. Yeah, so you guys make actually, it. Actually, I can drop down. crap. That's about it. It killed another one of those people, and it's still chasing down the hallway. But we're at the next section already. That was real quick. Oh, um, that's going to bring us now to who gets to go? Iris, give me a d20 roll. Seventeen. Another seventeen. <sighs> All right, so as you, <laughs> this group begins to make your way into this next pink section here, off to the side, the creature, it's really gaining and gaining, but then as it gets to the end of this hallway to right where you all are, there's one trooper that's like just left the bathroom and is like zipping up his fly, looks over and just claws, just ah! <laughs> blood everywhere. And the creature expands in size once again. And it's at this point that it looks like it's getting almost too tight for these hallways. <laughs> oh, maybe it'll get so big the fatty can move. Hey, um, that one trooper that's with us, can I grab it and throw it towards the creature? <laughs> oh. On the next section, you certainly can. But for this section, um, it's going to be... We got here. Ursula just went... 
no iris just went right so or an infra i don't remember it just Eat. happened and i don't remember i think i'm next to roll do it up all right well it's been so good so far what you can do on? it nine nine that's new <laughs> A new number. I was hoping, I was hoping this one wasn't going <laughs> to happen. All right, so hold on real quick. That here. sounds awful. Yeah, this. <laughs> I am not looking forward to this. As, right, you, oh, as oh, you are all running uh, in this particular direction, stepping out in front of one of the, from one of the doorways, there is a, a scientist pushing a gurney. Uh, and it's in your way. You need to get around this scientist with a gurney. What are you doing? <laughs> Acrobatics, slide, leap over it. Athletics, smash through it. Like, what are you guys doing? You could also do something to slow the creature, like Jell said. Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, <sighs> we definitely need to stall with this beast. And it's becoming clear that if it gets big enough, it can't move. All right. Like if it can't fit through a doorway, it's going to take it a while to chase us up to the ship. What's on the gurney? Uh, it looks like there's some kind of uh, it's some type of body that's cu covered up completely with a, a sheet. Iris is going to try to push back. it in the way. Yeah, yeah, just grab it and just hook it back. Just take the whole the gurney and just throw yeah. it backwards. Just push right. it. Just push it towards it, like like Iris you know, like the whole. Oh my uh, god, it's Meals on Wheels. Look yeah, exactly, Meals, on, meals wheels. on Wheels. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, Iris is going to do that because she's All right, the, that's going to be a uh, strength check for Iris. <laughs> yeah, I'm still a friggin' owl, so I don't... That is a 17. Yeah, oh, man, you guys are doing so well. You don't even need these inspirations <laughs> I'm giving you. Uh, Emfret and Ursula, what are you two doing? Uh, Iris gets up there, is getting ready to like toss this gurney back, but there's still a scientist in your way, and, and uh, Iris is standing there with the gurney. What are you doing to get around this thing? Uh, wait, the, the scientist is the way. I'm gonna say, join us or die. Like literally, not we're not gonna we're not gonna kill you. That's gonna kill you. Let's is go. that gonna be? So that sounds like intimidation to me. Sure. Yeah. It'd be very intimidating. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Ursula, what are you doing? I'm still an owl, I guess. Can yes, I, like, you are. Yeah. Or... <laughs> Cuteness you're living, you're living your best life. <laughs> I don't know what to do <laughs> being an owl. <laughs> this is not helpful. Oh, too bad Poe's not here. You guys could be bird bros. Oh, yeah. I know. My boo. He got obliterated. Uh, so what are we doing here? Iris, what'd you get? For, you got 17, right? M. Fret, what did you get for your uh, intimidation? Intimidation, I hope they poop themselves. It's a 24. Whoa. All right. Dang. <laughs> Iris isn't just they the only well scary better. one. All right. Theatrics. Ursula, whatever you do, it does not have to be a high roll. Let's just make this. What are you doing? Oh, oh, what? Am I trying to intimidate something? No, you don't have to That's intimidate. Owl? No, just be cute. Oh, I'm just going to keep flying. Over, yeah. I need to see what the hell's going on, so I'm just going to keep flying. All right, I probably just gave you a 10 for the group for that. 10 for 12. Okay, that's, uh, that's, that's enough, just barely. But you guys are able to slam this gurney out of the way, throw it back at the creature. Uh, this way, it didn't seem like he was very interested in whatever was under that sheet this time. Oh, he just kind of like God. over it and keeps, uh, keeps going. Okay. Um, but you all make it to this doorway toward the warehouse and get right inside there as you're pushing through. Um, now it's time for, I don't even know who's next, but you know the order. Just keep going. Who's next to roll? I think it's Iris. Because I just won. Iris. Iris. Is it my turn? Uh, sure. Okay. okay, cool. I will roll my d20. Seven. Seven. Okay. Owl. Uh, Do I have to just keep being a owl? Yeah, you can. Yeah. This point, another trooper pops up ahead of you and begins to fire at you all. Um, that is your obstacle this time. Is one trooper in the way of your exit? What, what would you like to do? Uh, an idiot. Creature is gaining. 
So wait, did you say I can stop being an owl now? Yes, if you'd like. Yeah, you can. Okay, yeah, no, I don't, uh, okay. Normal person. Drop owl well, form. As normal as Ursula is. Um, can I see... Uh, can I see the creature and the trooper now? If I look uh, back you, and I forth. I would say, as you're kind of wheeling around this corner, you can get a glimpse of both real quick. Oh. Actually, you know what? Make a perception check because sure. you got one on in two different directions. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Which one would you like to have more of a visual on? Oh. Uh, I want to. I'm gonna go for the trooper. All right. So you. Kind of as you're skidding around the corner, you look and forward, you see the trooper and you look at your friend, your allies and your system, your uh, siblings, and you're like, what are you doing? Oh, oh, uh, what I'm going to do, the trooper? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, um, I'm going to cast Tasha's Hideous Laughter on him. Ah, okay. Make another Arcana check. All right. Okay, so that's... Uh... Ooh, 20. Wow. Okay. Um, Ursula and Iris, what are the two of you doing? Um, I want to peek at this this? stupid turd monster as Ursula. Yeah. And I want to cast Cause Fear. Okay. This is going to be another Arcana check. Okay. Skills. And then Iris, what are you doing, was it? If I touch this dude that Emperor made laugh, will it like break the spell? He, he, well, do I did I make him laugh? I, I have my joke ready. You, you had to, yes, please give me the joke. Oh, okay. Um, I was going to make a joke about your life, but I see life has beaten me to the punch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, nice. Yes. Well, with a twenty-one, yeah, he starts laughing in a in a fit of uh, hilarity. Okay. Cool. Cool. Because um, I- let's go. <laughs> Iris, again, this is just this is turn-based okay. running. We're okay. just going. You so, want to do? Uh, while homeboy is on the floor laughing, I'm going to pick him up and toss him towards the monster. Okay. Uh, give me a strength check. And Ursula, what was your role? I got a seventeen. Hmm. For a strength check, I got 13. Jeez, guys. What? We're just under? (laughs) We're only surviving? (laughs) No, you're totally fine. You're totally fine. This guy gets tossed. Essentially, you're switching places with this trooper. Hell yeah. Um, And, yep, creature gets closer. And that's going to be, who just did it? Iris? So it's going to be Emfret. Okay. Uh, just a straight D20. Yep. Natural 20. Natural 20. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Oh, what a waste. <laughs> I know, but... So not only does <laughs> the soldier, the trooper that you guys pushed back there get skewered and eaten, but another trooper who runs out of this room also gets skewered and eaten slowing this thing down immensely where it does not move this round at all while your group is able to get into this final section. So it's only one more roll you guys have uh, to get away safely. And I also need to know how you are splitting because you can't all fit in your two person pod. Okay, no. I, think we, I think we talked about this. Yes. Yes. Um, or mostly. So at least Bork would come with me. Yes. The other and scientists. Okay, in the ship to the on the right. Yes. The cargo ship. All right. They are the cargo. So yeah. Ursula and all the scientists are heading to the cargo ship. M. Fret and Iris are taking the Our device ship. in the two-person thing. Yes. Yes. All right. So, Ursula, give me the last roll. D twenty roll. No pressure. Uh, uh, we have the inspiration. Um, we have the inspiration. Yep. No, not for that. 
<laughs> oh, you mean for each, you could each literally there's three, you could each reroll. 11. 11. Okay. At this point, as you're running out onto the that's loading dock area, the scientists look exhausted. They can barely breathe. They're like almost ready to collapse. <sighs> what are you going to do to get them onto these ships? And they're at this last moment. Uh huh. <laughs> Me personally? All three of you. Oh, <laughs> Iris is going to be. This, is a, this is a fairly high DC number, too. <laughs> oh my God. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, Iris is going to scare him again and be like, yo, get in the ship or you guys are going to die. We'll leave you behind. Okay, so we got an intimidation. Hit me up with that. Yeah. What, are you, what are you two doing, M. Fret and Ursula? Um, oh, gosh. I am... <laughs> what am I going to do? I know. Uh... Iris, what'd you get? 16. Okay. Uh... Not bad, not bad. Wow. What are we doing? Uh, uh, yeah, I guess I guess Ursula is just going to try and convince them to do it for the science. All right. I, the science. Uh, I guess. Oh, and the creature got bigger, too, so it's having a... It's I know, I see you moving it, and I'm yeah, looking like... Oh. He's going to roll to see if it can move. It gets <laughs> to this area while you're trying to push these scientists along, and then it gets stuck, and it's... Yes. Trying to like scratch its way out at you. Stuck. Got too what are we doing? What are we doing to get these scientists moving, M. Fret? Oh man, what do scientists like? Oh, uh, um. All you need to do is persuade them. Uh, I will. Do you have a bardic inspiration? Maybe I do have a bardic inspiration. Wanna, but I don't. Yeah, can. Uh. Uh, uh, bar, uh, b b b um, uh, I'm which one looks the the weakest and the which of the scientists of the, looks the yeah, weakest? Yeah, yeah, just like the most board. exhausted. The most exhausted. Uh, it looks like there's a maybe a, a water genasi that's like, <laughs> all right. I mean, it's really just either stay here and die, yeah, or get on the friggin' ship. <laughs> or Jesse, I give you bardic inspiration and I'm just going to say you you want to live and you're tired now but get on that ship and you can go and do more science that you love to do because and then this wasn't an playing. awful experience for you or anything so and then start playing Eye Fred. of the Tiger <laughs> yeah and everybody Fred. gets into it yeah. Roll a persuasion check, but add a D8. Roll another D8 on top of it for your inspiration. All right. All right. Okay. You got right. it. So, let's say, let me see. And while you're rolling that, Ursula, what are you doing? Uh, Ursula's running out of things to do. I want to see, uh, like, at least get to the show. I'm going to... I'm at least going to say, well, really, it's either, you know, die or get in the ship. I mean, I don't know. I don't know where you all land on living and dying, but. <laughs> all right. So they... And I'm going to point at the ship and they go death and point at the beast. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to have you do another <laughs> persuasion check. I am going to increase the DC a little bit because if someone does the same skill, I like to increase it. Mm hmm. Uh, so the persuasion with the inspiration from M. Fret was uh, because it's persuade. Well, I rolled low, but it automatically becomes a ten. Oh yeah, plus my modifier because it's persuasion, and then I rolled an eight on the D eight, so seventeen plus eight is math, and twenty five. Yeah, thank you. Damn. Okay. Uh, you have not hit the threshold, but only barely not. So, Ursula, what do you got? I got an 18. That is enough. You're able to yeah. add, add oh my gosh. scratching and trying to skitter through this opening. Ursula, you are able to uh, guide the scientists into this ship. 
and get it started. Or actually, I'm going to need you to make an in uh, investigation check to figure if you can uh, figure out how to start the ship up. <laughs> Ten. Inspiration. You have inspiration. You have inspiration. Inspiration. Oh, 17. Okay, that's better. That's better. Yes. So, M. Fred and Iris, you two get your ship started up. You begin to float up into the air on the, the like hydraulics there. You start to pull back. And as you do, you're watching the other ship, the cargo ship, and it's not moving. And it's not moving. And it's not moving. And then this creature begins to break through the metal uh, beams that are holding the door up. And just as it busts through, you see the engines <laughs> turn on and Ursula just <laughs> out of there. <laughs> and the two of you, the two of your ships begin to start heading off up toward the uh, purpley miasma like fog that lingers throughout uh, the atmosphere of the planet Mechanus. What are you two do? What are your two ships at this point doing now? I feel like we should link back up to Mikasa and then go from there. Yeah. And we already paid for our docking for the day. So. <clears throat> We shouldn't have any problems. I will say that you do not have any problems. You can get up to the docking ship. You can park. Uh, you can reconnect your pod. You can ditch the uh, cargo ship. Oh, actually, no. Uh, Ursula's keeping the cargo ship, right? Because you guys are on two de different destinations. Right, right, right. Sorry. Um, perfect. So at this point, you guys are now in your main ship, Mikasa. And then you have Ursula has the other ship. Um, what's going on? Is anyone reaching out to Krivus or what's? Uh, yeah, I guess I need to get the coordinates. Uh, can I at least express, I feel like Bork wanted to go and see these people. Mm -hmm. the and alloyance. I, I have it right. So can I at least explain to him that I'm bringing him to the right place? <laughs> yes, please do. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm, I'm sorry about my, um, my lack of manners back there, but I'm just saying I'm, I'm trying to bring you uh, where you really want to go. The and that's uh, where. What's that? And that's where. Uh, it, it's it's the, the alliance, is that, is that what it's called? Yes, uh, I suspected they'd be uh, trying to get us back. I'm glad they are. Oh, get you back. Yes, I didn't get much background. Uh, yes, uh, we, uh, many of us worked uh, for the Alloyance because, you know, this uh, chrome regime is quite uh, vicious and bloodthirsty. Uh, unfortunately, Which I can one admire, of the but at the same time, it's, it's <laughs> too much. Yeah, well, we, uh, some of us weren't so lucky and we got taken. And, uh, well, I'm just grateful that you're able to get us out of there. Ursula, you said your name? Yes. Pleasure. And he goes to shake your hand. I'll give him the weakest <laughs> <laughs> little corpse hand. Perfect. <laughs> Her hands are freezing. <laughs> oh, a little clammy. Yeah. Perfect. I love it. Okay. So that's what's going on there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Iris and Amphret, uh -huh. what are you doing? I guess we would also have to contact Krivus, right? Yeah. And yeah. Uh, let them know that we have the device and Bork. And you also give, give him a call. Give him a call. Or her, sorry. Oh, can we do like a? Can we do like a conference yeah. call, like a three-way? Yeah, all... easy enough. You can. Yeah, you can <laughs> call <laughs> Ursula first, get her on the horn, they get Krivis on after, no problem. Yeah, at all, so all, I know where the hell I'm going. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Ring, ring. One <laughs> ring. 
Oh, look who it is. Oh, I'm so glad you were able to get everything ready to go. Did you get it? Did you succeed? Did you get the, you know, the scientist and the device? Oh, I, I mean, be insulting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you know, <laughs> I, knew, I knew it. I knew you could do it. <laughs> Counter out of the frying pan right into the fryer there. You know, geez. Hey, geez, hey well, hey. You know, guess what? I was able, you know, because <laughs> I'm good at what I do too. Mm-hmm. I was able to negotiate a little bit more pay uh, from the uh, the the client that uh, wishes to remain anonymous. But since you succeeded uh, with, with such flying colors, then she might be interested in meeting with you. She. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're, we could be interested in that too, uh, considering. That was quite the doozy. I have oh, questions. Oh yeah, yeah. I fe- I knew, but you, I knew you guys had it under control. And and as far as the other um, the other prospect, uh, with uh, we we did successfully get Bork uh, and a little top, a little icing on the cake. We actually got a lot more scientists. Oh, this yeah, is fantastic. Yeah. So they asked for one. We got them like what ten. All right, this is, I'm going to have to call back the alloyance and see if we can negotiate a little more pay. How, can you give me a head count? How many more of these scientists did you happen to bring along? How many scientists did we? Uh, give me roll 3D, uh, 3D6. Me? Yeah. <sighs> Ten. How many brought? Oh, ten. We got ten scientists. Wait, is that including? So Bork plus Bork? ten or ten? That doesn't total? include Bork. No, they, okay. you got eleven total with Bork. So yeah. lucky eleven. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. So you got ten more. Ten more. I, I'll see what I can do. All right. I'll, I'll try to negotiate some more yeah. pay for everyone because you know I mean, it's a hard job. Uh, you all look like you're all right, right? Iris is just gonna <laughs> glare like. I'd probably Iris, lost some hair. Iris. I got some hair singed oh, wait, off and all the acid. Seen? This is like a Oh zoom yeah, yeah, yeah. Holograms. You can see you can see Krivis and, and she can see all of you. Just all like, right. Yeah, the whole time I'm Iris is just like judging harshly, like Yeah. Iris, Iris, you know just don't worry about it. You know I'm gonna hook you up with some good uh, good currency. She knows. She knows. She's very grateful. She says thank you. Oh yeah, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does. All yeah, right. Well, hey, I'm gonna send, uh... that's her happy face. Oh, is it now? I think I've yeah. seen a real happy face when she's smashing things. That's that's her. That's her real happy face. Uh, but let me send you the coordinates uh, for uh, the alloyance so you can drop off those scientists. And then, uh, what, you guys split up right now? It looks like you're on different ships. What's going on? Yes. Well, it was necessary considering uh, the way our plan of attack went in. You know, nothing went wrong at all. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, Now this is exactly how we wanted it to go. Oh, good. Uh, Planned it to a T. Uh, Of Uh, course you did. Of course you did. Of course. Why why would I even question you? (laughs) There's no reason. Good. We're here. Okay, so uh, who's going, uh, who's got the scientists? Uh, where, where are they? You, you. All right, so Ursula, I'm going to send you some coordinates. Uh, this is where you're going to meet uh, a couple of representatives from the uh, from the Alloyance. Uh, they'll, you can deal with them. Uh, don't worry about the pay. Uh, they're sending it to me, and then I will divvy it up uh, as necessary. But again, before you get that, I will make sure to negotiate more pay for more scientists. This is a good deal. Well, how do I know when I'm delivering all of these 11 scientists that we're getting paid simultaneously? Yeah, oh, I want receipts. Yes. She's never She's never oh, had receipts. reason to go against us before, right? Ursula, you hurt me. You think that I would steal from the likes of you? I know. <laughs> That's not what I was implying. What I was implying is that we're delivering a service. How do we know that these people are going to pay us? Oh, I'm talking. I'm going to call and negotiate. Get that pay right now. It's going to be kind of my- transit. 
May I ask to whom am I speaking when I get there? Is a couple uh, representatives. Is uh, oh geez, let me look at the. I mean, are they going to be wearing red roses or something? I don't. Know. Uh, I don't know what they look like. Uh, I just know that one of them is. He's. Uh, he looks kind of just uh, regular, like uh, maybe he's Asma or something. I'm not sure. Uh, the other one is a dragonborn. It, it makes sense, you know, being from the Alloyance. I don't understand the uh, the ASMR, but, you know, ASMRs are good, so I guess they're on the right side at the very least. All right. You can't. Oh, the Rasta. The Rasta says, um, it said, all right, so the Dragonborn fella is, uh, oh my God, these weird dialects here, Tagatha or some shit like that. I don't know. It's hard to read. And then uh, the other one, the 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 Asama, uh, Kubrick, I don't know. That's, 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 uh, that's, that's the names. Kubrick, that sounds stupid, but okay. Yeah, you know, he seemed he sounded pretty dumb, but you know, it's tough to tell uh, when you just, you know, just over the phone. So, uh, I guess if you, you, I know you have such a high intelligence, sir, so you're going to be able to take care of this no problem. Uh, as to the other two, uh, M. Fret and uh, Miss uh, Miss Iris here, uh, you two just head back to the Feywild. Uh, your client has agreed to uh, meet on planet. Okay. So yeah, just uh, just head that way. Um, I believe we have it scheduled uh, for this uh, for your client to uh, head. What is it? Uh, right onto your ship, I believe. So we just need to get just there. get there, Park. She'll find you. It'll be uh, it'll be real easy, real easy. Do we have a contact name for that? I do not have a contact name as she preferred to speak directly to yous. So the two yous. <laughs> two yous. Okay. If she's coming to our ship, is she someone that seems threatening? Threat? No. <laughs> no. I've seen like a little image of this woman. I don't think she's threatening at all. I think especially the two of you. Iris, Iris, you can deal with it if something happens, which oh. they won't. And then M. Fred, you can always talk to her, you know, persuade her, do your thing. <laughs> I was gonna say she's she's cute, she's cute, like... cute. Uh, mm, yeah, I don't know if I'd go with cute. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's all in the eye of the beholder. You don't want to come face to face with one of them. Let me tell you, those beholders dangerous creatures. But um, yeah. you are correct. You are correct. Uh, let me uh, let me get off the the line with you. You know you know you use all the going. So I'll just let me reach out to that alloyance guy and uh, see if I can negotiate some more pay. Thank and, you. Yeah, you 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 meet your contact uh, back in the Feywild. All right. Uh, I'll yeah. let you know. I'll let you know <laughs> what we can find. All right. All right. Spread the word. You know we're good. And the she already, she already know, hung up. Ah. She already hung up. yeah. No, wait, after, like, after <laughs> she's done, can it pop back up and be like, would you rate? How was your experience five, today yeah, with this how call? How was the service with Privus here? <laughs> get five stars, get a free cookie. I love it. <laughs> um, okay, so I think we're going to do, uh, we will start with Ursula. Okay. So Ursula. Uh, you type in the coordinates that Krivis sends you. Uh, it takes you about another day to get there. So a long um, rest, you say? A long rest, I say. I'd like to think that another scientist could fly. <laughs> oh, there's yeah. scientists in there that worked in the aeronautics lab. Okay, excellent. Yeah, there's so not a problem. long rest it is. <laughs> yeah, you can take a long rest. Oh, thank uh, you. You, you, had, you meet, uh, there's, you, you see another ship. Uh, this one is, it's all made of this bright gold material. It's very gaudy and shiny. And, ugh. But uh, the, the two docking bays connect uh, and you begin to um, meet up with a couple people. Uh, one of the gentlemen comes up. He's got his, uh, he's got a duster on. He's got like a copper colored beard, solid copper eyes. Um, wearing a little uh, little hat as well, um, and behind him 
towering over him, maybe another foot or so, maybe even a little taller, gold scale dragon born in these beautiful blue robes. And he's just, there's metal entwined all around him. There's large bracelets that go up his arm. He's got like this large thick sheet that goes around his waist. Um, and he's just standing behind the guy with the hat, just arms looking down kind of at you and the scientists as you head up. And uh, yeah, the door opens and you see the two of them. And he, the gentleman with the hat kind of tips his hat. I'm going to say, oh, you look, you look like, you look stupid. Uh, you Kubrick? <laughs> yeah, I'm Kubrick. Yeah. Um, uh, are you with the Fabies uh, Recovery Service? I think it was, right? You, you think? He like looks back to the large dragonborn behind him. Kind of like shrugs. Do you often get deliveries of scientists? Uh, no, but I just wanted to check to make sure that I was dealing with the people I was told that I was going to be dealing with. There was supposed to be three of you. Uh, my not the, si- I- not the scientists. <laughs> I was going to say your math doesn't add up. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. My apologies, my siblings couldn't join me. Oh, hopefully nothing bad. No, it's purely personal. <laughs> okay, well, uh, well, I see you've got Bork, and he kind of holds his hand out. Bork comes over, gives him a good shake. Um, yeah, somebody else nicer needs to talk. <laughs> Ursula's not very nice, so I don't think Kubrick's going to take it well. <laughs> Uh, so Bork says, uh, you know, you know uh, they were very helpful in the escape. Uh, and uh, as you can see, there's a lot of us here. And Kubrick's like, yes. And actually, I spoke to um, your contact. Uh, was it uh, Krivel? Krivel? Krivet? I don't remember. Uh, it's like she seemed nice. <laughs> furry, furry woman there no all right whatever i spoke to her uh, a little while ago and she said that she was trying to negotiate some more pay for the scientists the additional scientists um i i think that we can handle that um i think that we can probably give you an extra 500 credits per scientist uh, on top of that so uh now you did you get the device too I know that was that was kind of like a if you can get it situation, grab it. Oh shit. <laughs> I have to lie now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't know. Stupid, they like what device? No. They, <laughs> she's just gonna start with I don't understand. Didn't didn't they design the device? We may or may not have blown up a room with things. Oh. Make a deception check. <clears throat> well, she's technically not not lying yet. Not yeah. lying. You're not lying yet. <laughs> okay. Technically, no, you're like cool. a white little lie. She's just avoiding. She's like a direct answer. Oh, all right. So you think it got destroyed? It might have. I mean, check these things out, and then I'm going to take out one of the bombs. And he'll like look it over, and he's like, "Do you know anything about this?" Oh, yes, I actually designed these. Uh, they're quite uh, explosive. Uh, wouldn't be good against the red dragonborn, but pretty much any of the others. And Kubrick's like, oh, um, how many more of those do you have? I could be interested in purchasing some. I don't know that they're for sale. <laughs> oh, well, he made them. He points exactly. over Exactly. Bork. <laughs> Bork's like, uh, well, yeah, so I should be able to have at least one, right? They're looking at you. Oh, well, yes. I mean, that's I suppose that's fair. It'll be a <laughs> lot easier to recreate it if I have one in hand than having to go from memory. So long as it's for science, like as I'm giving it to him, <laughs> I'm going to look at Kubrick and say, for science. <laughs> yeah. Oh, science. Of course, it's for science. What? (laughs) 
Anyway, uh, I will have <laughs> uh, 10,000 credits <laughs> transferred over. And he kind of like holds out his credit chip situation and kind of shows you that 10,000 gets transferred over. He's like, well, I suppose uh, that'll be it then. If everyone uh, wants to climb aboard, uh, we'll, we'll be heading off. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can get some, some of your projects up and running for the Alloyance instead of... Uh, those guys, he like points out in a direction into space. So, uh, thank you. Guys, uh, uh, Ursula just wants to make sure that in her head, wherever the device is going is not those guys. Look, the chromagene? Like whatever. Oh, the yeah, bad guys? We're just put, yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, like, you don't know because you We don't know who person. the other person is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh but yeah no so then uh if unless you have anything else you'd like to say to kubrick to gartha borknork any of them ursula they're about to head on to uh the other golden ship well i guess i'm on my own then eh. <laughs> she, she likes being alone but not in awkward social situation <laughs> so, yep uh don't really know what to do with that one um she's good. well it was lovely meeting you, Tagartha. <laughs> Tagartha just <clears throat> nods from behind, turns and walks back into the other ship. Kubrick and puts his hand out say, to shake yours. <laughs> shakes. He kind of almost recoils a little bit to the like the cold, clammy touch of your hand. <laughs> uh, it's been a pleasure. Kind of tips his hat, turns, and okay. heads back into his ship. <laughs> the two of you uh, disengage ships and head on your separate ways. I really oh, wish I was there. <laughs> oh, man. I just um, can't do much more than that. She can only be sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have. But the second I get back onto the ship, I want Ursula to, to be like, uh, I... I I, I just need to know where the device is going to, to her siblings. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, I was just going to be like, we'll let you know once we meet the contact. <laughs> All right. right. Um, but that wouldn't have happened. Wait, that wouldn't have happened in time because we're doing separate things. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I take that back. And we're back. Love it. Well, I know from looking at the notes and stuff that this is like a, it's some sort of device that seems to have to help with like vegetation growth. Cause that's like keywords that I saw. So obviously I wouldn't want it to go into anyone, anyone's hands that are bad. Wait, did um, I have the paperwork that has anything to do with the device? I feel like I grabbed that and, well, I grabbed some paper. I know someone I did. I don't remember who took it. I just grabbed the device. I didn't grab any papers because Iris doesn't, isn't interested in reading. I think, I'm pretty sure Ursula grabbed them. Either yeah, Emperor I definitely or Ursula wrote did. down papers and bombs. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> then you have them. Yeah, you, you, could, you have the, the, the papers for that device. Uh, but they didn't know that. Uh, one thing I will say that you do know, Ursula, is that Acheron is the planet that is uh, being defended by the Alloyans at the moment. And Acheron is essentially three cube-like planets that kind of rotate around themselves. Um, and the majority of the planets are made of metal, so it's very hard to grow anything. And the uh, Dragonborn are running low on food supplies, especially for their armies to hold back the Chromagene. So the, you think that this device could help with that. It could disperse uh, like seeds or whatever to help uh, or fertilizer to help things grow much faster and easier on that planet. Oh, so it would super help. Wait, would it, would, would it really help the cause that I just dropped off all those scientists to? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me see if Ursula cares. I care, but let me see if she does. Ooh, she doesn't. She's going to sit on them. Okay. 
Okay. All right, perfect. That's awful, but at least she knows. <laughs> hey, you're you're a, a, a wizard. You, you're always looking at this magic and science and whatever. That's I'm sure you would not give it away. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Emfret, are we feeling major or minor right now? Major. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Uh, and Iris, the two of you uh, make your way back to the Feywild. Uh, it takes you about a day and a half, two days to get to uh, your destination. So we get a long rest? You do. Yeah. <laughs> it's always the first question. Um, and as you are, you know, you're kind of getting <laughs> yourselves landing in the, uh, the area where the ships park and whatnot in the, the summer city that you uh, generally live in. Um, and I would like a perception check from both of you as you're parking your ship. Uh, perception. Oh, 18. 18, nice. Iris? Hold on, I can't find it. There we go. 10. Ah, okay, 10. Um, okay. So, Iris, you don't notice this, uh, but Emfret, it's quite odd. This is something you haven't really seen before, uh, in, especially in this city. There is this long chain gang-like situation of these weird four-armed creatures that are being led two by two uh, by some of the uh, the heat, the police officers of the summer area. Um, le- they're being led two by two toward the prison area. They look like they have these bug-like ant-like heads, these four arms and this long chain gang. And then at the very, very end, as they're being pulled and tugged along and yanked and whatnot, you see these two other humanoids. Uh, one of them is uh, Fire Genasi. Uh, bite bright burning hair but instead of like up like most genasis have it it kind of just flows in long flames down her shoulders uh, and then there's also another creature that yeah, i need you to roll uh, a history check or religion check for me history sure. history okay Ooh, 18 18 uh, this is a demonic-like creature, but it's not a demon per se. It seems like it's maybe a half-breed, like this might be a tiefling. Uh, the reason I had you roll was to see if you have ever heard of tieflings, and it seems as though you have. So you see the two of them, and this tiefling has uh, the horns, very pale, almost like white skin, um, and a, a little tail that kind of flits behind her, uh, as they're also part of this chain gang getting pulled along toward the prisons by the heat. How uh, about just something? Figured you might be interested in, in knowing. It's kind of weird. Um, but one I thing pointed you, out to Iris. Like, huh. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Huh? So Iris, Emfret points that out to you. You get to see all that that I just described. That is a little odd. I wonder what they did. Same. Kind of a lot. Oh, wait. There was a... I was saying like there was like an alien crash or something on this right before we left. Maybe it has something to do with that. Who knows? As you're having this conversation, um, you hear uh, the metal floor behind, like behind you creak. And you look behind you and you hear, hello, as this short, very pudgy woman, uh, like a red robe with gold filigree and sashes. She's decked out in rings and earrings. Um, and she has this hair that's like, it's like cloud, but in two little poofs on the top. Like she's got, she's got, you know, just regular hair, but then two poofs of cloud hair. Um, looks as though this purple makeup has been uh, like painted on her blue skin. Um, and she's just big smiling necklaces, just, uh, hello, oh, you must be the, the Fabies Recovery Service, as this is your ship, Mikasa. Hello, I am Madame Melinda Fairchild at your service. I hear that you have my device. 
how? Wait, is she on our ship right now? How's she gonna on our ship? Your ship. How she's, is she gonna our ship? You don't know. She's just there behind you. It's like we turn around. It's I like, don't oh. like that. <laughs> I don't like that one bit. <laughs> um, yeah, our- damn. I wanted to do something before inviting her on, but she just showed up. Mm-hmm. Well, you could retcon depending on what is the thing you want to do because if it's something that can be done on the ship before you even get there. Yeah, because if she was going to be meeting us on the ship, I figured we'd invite her inside for privacy and stuff. I wanted to cast Zone of Truth on my loot so that when she entered the ship and we were there, she could not deliberately lie to us. Wisdom save? Um, One moment, let me double check this. Uh, 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 um, 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 charisma saving throw. Oh, charisma save. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is a 16 total. Uh, she, she saves. Okay. So you know that she is not affected by your spell. Okay. We should be aware that a spell was casted. Uh, she's would... aware when she, and if she, passes through it she would be aware that it's happening but yeah. also don't come like that was the whole thing is uh yeah, if you're coming on the ship we need to trust well i need to make sure yeah, she you didn't even see her she the the gangway never opened you didn't see her like walking she just appeared there mm. Mm. Mm, that's- so where is my device wow how did you get here so quickly and uninvited oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Arasis startles her hands are going to kind of like fly to her yeah. axes on her hips like ah well it's it's quite garish but and she pulls out this helmet uh, with all these gems all over it she's like it is a, a magic item that allows me to teleport around it's quite useful it wow it definitely would have been seems like you could have just handled the getting the device yourself just oh, no, no, flipping no, no, on no. it no i do not i do not do that kind of thing i hire others to do it right that's a cool device yeah. wow yes, it is so who are you let's start off with names since you seem to know us we are of at course. a disadvantage and you know before i give you my name uh are you interested in possible future jobs well, are always interested in future jobs. Good. My name is Madam Melinda Fairchild. Oh, that's right. She does. I hail from the planet Isgard. I know that's quite a hike for you. Okay. But I can always come to you with jobs if necessary, or, oh, God forbid, I reach out to Krivis again. It would be rude to cut Krivis out of the... Oh, out absolutely. of the equation it would so. be, though it would be much easier and a lot less of a headache. Yeah, but that's her favorite part, so we can't deny her that. Maybe if it's really important, you know. Now, as for payment, I believe mm-hmm. I specified 10,000 credits. Um, and if you eliminated all those uh, who saw you, uh, you would be getting an additional amount. Well, there's a uh, not a lot of the chromogene left in that f- chromogene, right? Am I saying the right thing? Okay, not a lot of that chromogene left in the uh, that facility. Um, uh, seems they were taken out possibly by their own creation. Hmm. Yeah, it's poetic justice there, I suppose. Um, uh, technically, you're not necessarily lying, so I'd say give me a persuasion check on that. Sure. Uh, That's a persuasion. That's going to be a 17. Hmm. I see. Well, no matter. I will have my spies take a look. And if indeed there is no one left, then I will be certain to send you an additional bonus. There is a giant maniacal creature that grows every time it eats, but that kind of sounds like Mechanis' problem. And it definitely doesn't talk. Um. Hmm. Because it didn't tell us how good the soldiers were while it was eating it. So, yeah. Interesting. Well, now I'm very interested to know um, what this creature is. 
do I remember what it was or did I know what it was? Can I tell, could I tell um, you? I believe, who was it? I, it was someone knew what these creatures were. Oh no, Bork told you guys, I believe. Right? Yeah, he's, he they knew told what, us what it was. was a, it was like two things put together. Yeah, he so just told us it was an abomination and like the two things, yeah. yeah. A wyvern and an onkeg put together. DNA spliced, yeah. Iris wouldn't know. She's just like, it's big. It eats people. Well, my uh, spies will most certainly take a look and give me a full report. So I will look into that as well. Oh, right. And I mean, just for going out of our way to grab this thing, like what, what are you guys going to do with it? It seems like they were going to, I don't know, probably use it for some evil plan since it was like an evil laboratory with evil monsters on it. So are you really in the business of asking questions? Let me see. Am I? Can I do a perception check on her to kind of see her, what her deal is? You can make an insight check. Insights. So it's, it's, I'm not super interested, but I, it's, it's piqued my interest. Would it ease your mind if I told you that it will not be used for anything nefarious? Yeah, I guess. For my check, I got a 12. Uh, 12. She, it, she seems very hard to read. She's someone who's been around for a while. She's dealt with a lot of different groups like this. Um, she, this is her business. She gets items. This is what she does. And she's very good at reading people and she's very good at getting her way. But you're having a hard time really reading her, uh, her whether she's being honest or her, like her level of honesty with a 12. Okay. But anyway... Um, yeah. the device. future employment, I guess. Yeah, no, that's good enough answer for me. Good. Uh, so the device, please. I think Iris, Iris is going to hold it up like this device. Oh, yes. And she puts her hand out for it. Are you going to sell it or redistribute it to anybody? Oh, no. This is for my private collection. She's gonna like slowly just. She'll take it. She'll open up a satchel that she has on her side, put it in. She'll pull out her credit chip and hold it up next to yours, if you have yours ready. And she will type in 10,000 credits and it'll get transferred over immediately to uh, the account that it's, it's Krivis's account. Krivis will disperse it how he said he or she would and all that. But um, yeah, so that's, that's that. She says, well, now that that has been completed, let's discuss the next job. And that's where we're gonna end uh, the series, the the, uh, the season. Yay. Baby, we did it. Babies we, is over. We did uh, it. However, um, I, I will announce now that maybe like six months from now, we're gonna be making a season two of Babies. Uh, so that should be pretty great for the next heist that uh, Madam Fairchild puts them on. Uh, so yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed the new series. Uh, we do, I don't have a specific date yet, but Jill will keep everyone updated um, on all the social medias. Uh, we are continuing the break with our previous campaign with Tita and Cal and Emmy, and we are going to start a brand new campaign that is mostly fantasy based, uh, kind of cutting the sci-fi out for a little bit um, on a planet of my own design. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, we have some real fun characters. You're going to see all three of these same faces as well as um, uh, Mike and Lauren from the other campaign. They're going to be joining us. Jill, uh, you're popping in and out, right? You're going to be kind of... Uh, yeah, you know, pop character. in, say hi, disappear for a bit. You know, not yeah. every, not every time, but I'll, I'll she's pulling hi. a pike, pulling a yeah. pike, exactly. A pike. Yep. yep, perfect. Okay. Well, yeah. So everyone, uh, we'll have Jill keep everyone updated, and yeah, look forward to that in about uh, two, three weeks. So, woo! You guys have a great night. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>